was hosting the Tonys. This is crazy pants. Um, playing Hedwig is an absolute joy. It is a role I was terrified of, and uh, in, in taking it on, it has changed me and challenged me, and it's exhausting, and it's so fun to perform it, and I love doing it. Um, thank you so much uh, to the to the theater wing for this award, for voting for me, for David Binder and 101 Productions for waiting for, to allow me to do the production. It really means a lot. Um, I'm such a fan of the show, and John Cameron Mitchell and Stephen Trask, you've created a character that is so beautiful, and songs that are so amazing to sing, and to do it over and over, I keep learning new things from it, and it's a disappointment that you guys weren't able to be up for your categories given the circumstances, so thank you for doing that. Um, our production, I'm a wild fan of, and it all starts with our director, Michael Mayer, who is absolutely brilliant in everything given the show. Your little notes were specific, your big notes were grand, and all of it was uh, amazing. To my personal head big team, uh, Danny Paul, my dresser, is absolutely spectacular. Um, uh, oh, I wrote the names down. Um, Mike, Nicole, and Perfidia for your makeup and your wigs. You're extraordinary. Uh, Ariane Phillips for her costumes. They're awesome. Spencer Liv for the moves and the confidence. Thank you. Ethan Pop, Linda Dahl, and Liz Kaplan, the amazing Liz Kaplan, for keeping my voice in check. I really appreciate it. To my band, Lena Hall, who won a Tony. And, uh, and, uh, thank you. I share this with you, but not really. <laughs> To uh, my agent and great friend Joe Mahota, you're the best. Uh, to my family, David Bertka, I love you so much and I am so happy that we've gotten to do this. Thank you for your sacrifices and thank you for uh, putting up with me during all of this. To our kids, Harper and Gideon, you're three and a half. I'm so sorry that um, I haven't been able to spend as much time with you as I wish I could, uh, given the show. I, I promise that as soon as this is done, I'll be able to read books to you and put you to sleep. Um, that's coming up soon. Um, my mom and dad, is their anniversary today, so happy anniversary. I love you very much. Um, and my brother Brian's awesome too. And lastly, I would just like to say thank you to the people who inspire us creatively, like teachers, Churchill Cook, Danny Flores, um, Diane Keeson, Marty. These are teachers in small town New Mexico that when sports was the only option, showed that creativity had a place in the world. And without them, I would never be able to do any of this. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. And just 
just like leaks out onto people who, who, who you know me. I mean, honestly, friendship is totally, it's magic. It's just the truth. <laughs> Rena, gender bending, cross-dressing, all of this is becoming so prominent on Broadway and in theater in general. What would you say to an actor who hasn't done it before and is a little bit nervous about experimenting with that? Um, I'd say go for it. Just do your homework. Um, watch yourself in a mirror a lot. And, um, and, and be able to really edit yourself down. Well, uh, it's different. I mean, if you're a woman and you're playing a man, if you're playing a biological man, you've really got to edit yourself down because women are very outwardly emotional and we're very, fa our faces, we do a lot of things, you know, we're very like, like, um, I don't know, wild, but men are much more stoic and much more internal than women are. So, you know, if you're a woman and you're playing a biological man, you've really got to edit yourself way down, And but opposite for men, if you're going to play a woman, you have to... You know, you have to become a lot more flamboyant. <laughs> whoever she's going to do that to. But what's really cool is that um, this show has meant a lot to me for, for a really long time. I saw it at the Jane Street in 1999, and it, it was like a religious experience. And what's interesting is now that we're on Broadway and we're getting all this attention, um, more people are coming to have that same experience of, of finding yourself almost. I mean, you really, you really listen to the message and you and you realize that you are all you need in your life if you embrace it. And if you embrace yourself, you're able to embrace those around you. Hi, Thank you. congratulations. Thank you. You looked at the end of the show so genuinely radiant when you come out, um, you know, when you, get, uh, when you come out in the dress. Is that kind of a cathartic moment in your game? cathartic as it looks? Yes. Yeah. Uh, to spend the whole show kind of beaten down, um, if, if the show ended before I was released and, and, and allowed to be a woman, like allowed to be a drag queen, then I mean, I'd probably die. <laughs> Just like, it would be such a depressing thing. But the fact that I get to go out and complete my story and, and, and come back as this beautiful drag queen, I mean, it's not me, it's really, it's really Yitzhak living <coughs> as he wants to live. So uh, I, I do, I feel the joy, the song is so beautiful, lift up your hands. It's, it's like a moment of just letting go, being yourself, being your true self. And I think it, me and Neil's character are both being our very true selves in that moment. And, and I look at him and, I, and I, I look at Neil and I see in his eyes the same thing that I feel. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know. I feel like when I feel like when we go out on stage, it's gonna be like, all right, they won Tony Awards. Let's see what they got to get. You know what I mean? We might it might be harder to like convince the audience, you know, of, of what we do every night. I hope not. Um, I have a feeling though that Wednesday, because our next show is on Wednesday night. I have a feeling that it's going to be through the roof. Not that every show has been through the roof. I mean, honestly, every single night during the curtain call, it feels like the Belasco is going to crumble because the audience is just so into it. They are so touched and they are yelling and screaming. I've never even experienced that in a Broadway show ever. And um, and, and so I can't imagine what Wednesday is going to be like. It is just going to be an explosion. <laughs> so much. <laughs> um, find yourself, take the time to figure out what exactly it is that you want. Because once you figure out what you want and what you love in life, you will eventually get there. But until then, you will forever be lost. Okay, thank you so much and congratulations.